Adobe Firefly has been released and it is likely to change the way we photographers will edit our images. And if you want to see how the future looks like, please stay tuned on this channel, subscribe and hit the notification button to not miss any of my upcoming videos. Adobe just approved me for the beta version of Firefly. If you want to join, you have to make a request and after a couple of days, usually they approve you. Adobe Firefly, if you don't know what it is, it is an AI tool, but it is different from every other AI tools because it uses only images that are open source and allowed to be trained uh, so that you don't incur in any copyright issue. But uh, what's important for you is that Adobe Firefly is likely to become the mainstream way you photographer will edit your images. As you can see, I am in the beta version and currently you can only try out the text to image duration tool and the text FX tool. The recolor vectors tool is coming soon, but there are many more tools that will be uh, available throughout the next uh, months, which are probably also more interesting for us photographers, like for example, in painting, where you can uh, remove, replace pieces of an image you have, or personalized results, which sounds really innovative because it uses your own images. It trains on your images to create new images, but these of course then are no more real photos, but it will be something different. There is also text to vector. Extend image is particularly interesting because it uses your image or your photo and AI calculates what could be added outside of your image. You have to give some text commands and it will try to match the image you already have. Then there is 3D to image, text to pattern, text to brush, sketch to image and text to template. So as of now, there is no real tool available for us photographers, but there is a new text to image generation tool and I want to see how good it is, how good it works and how it compares to the currently best in class, which is Midjourney 5. When you click on the generate button, you will land on a page that shows you a couple of examples of images generated by user through Adobe Firefly. Um, you just click on one that you where you want to start, like for example this one. And this is the nice interface from Adobe Firefly that no other tool, no other AI tool is currently giving you. In the center you see the four example images, at the bottom you see the text prompt, and on the right you have all those nice filters you can use, for example the aspect ratio, the content type, the styles. Currently you, if you select the popular styles you only see six styles, but if you click on all you see you really a ton of styles. You can edit the color and the tone, the lighting and also the composition. So this is a very handy tool for photographers that know what kind of image they want to generate because it gives you the most basic easy selections to create the image the way you want. This is not available in such an easy interface way on other tools like for example Midjourney 5. So Adobe really here is uh, the best in class. So let's try to generate some images to see how good it is. So I would try to uh, generate an image of a Sony A1 camera with a leather outfit and uh, I will select photo to make it look as realistic as possible and uh, remove all kinds of styles so that it is uh, as neutral as possible. When I click on generate, the good thing is, it, uh, is that Adobe Firefly is really fast in generating those four images. Uh, on Midjourney it can take quite some time, on Adobe it's very fast but the results are really um, not as good as on Midjourney 5. For example, here on this image, you see that only one of the images has really some leather on the camera and you always miss the Sony logo. And also the cameras really don't look like a Sony A1. The quality of the image is really very basic. This looks like Midjourney version 3 or 2, which was released uh, nearly one year ago. So I'm sure Adobe will catch up, but they will need a couple of months to make those images really look like real photos. We ain't there yet. You can download the images and the max resolution you get is this one, 1,408 pixels to 1,024. That's the max resolution possible. Um, my Photoshop works in German because I speak German, even if my name is Italian, but I'm a German native. If I run the exact same prompt on Midjourney 5, you will see 
those results are really much closer to the one I want. First, the cameras really look like uh, nearly perfect Sony cameras. They have the Sony logo on top and they also have the real leather skin uh, that I wanted on the camera. Now I want to test if Adobe Firefly can write text properly. It's something Mid Journey 5 is really struggling and uh, it's messing around. It's it's better with the current Mid Journey 5 version than with Mid Journey 4. And from what I've been told with Mid Journey 6 and 7, this should be fixed. So let's see how Adobe does it. I try to generate the images and see if I can see a paper with Sony written on it. You see the results here? It didn't work out. It understands it has to write Sony, but it's writing everything except Sony. So I will keep refreshing just to see if it gets it right at least once. Yeah, uh, here you have two images that uh, are quite okay and you see that it has written Sony. If I run the same prompt on Mid Journey 5, I will get those kind of results. As you can see, Mid Journey 5 gets it right most of the time compared to Adobe Firefly. So now let's see how good Adobe Firefly is in creating portrait of real persons. So let's make a portrait of a female supermodel. Here are the first results uh, Adobe Firefly gave me. Let's go through the images and it really looks kind of odd. Uh, the composition, the light, the details. You can see clearly this is a fake image and I will try to download it so to have the higher resolution image. Also here that second image really looks strange like the hair, again the lighting on the shoulders, the face and everything is quite off. Um, here, this, is, uh, this is the third image and um, yeah I would really say those are not satisfying. Adobe is really lagging behind uh, Mid Journey 5. And here a quick comparison with Mid Journey 5 results. You can see most of the times the images here really look like real photos and you can often get confused and not realize that this is an image that has been generated with Mid Journey 5 and is not a real photo, which is also a danger. Of course, from now on, we will never be sure the photo is real or not real. Um, that's those are the times we live in. Mid Journey 5 is really good also in creating photos of famous people. So let's see if Adobe Firefly can do this too. And let's run a famous prompt, a photo of a Pope with a Balenciaga outfit. Let's generate it and see what Adobe gives us. And you can see Adobe really creates a complete mess. Uh, first of all, we don't have the real Pope Francis here. And also the images don't look like a real pop and you don't see the Balenciaga style. Let's run just a photo, IP photo from Brad Pitt to see if he only struggles with the Pope or even with other famous people. You can see it doesn't get the real images of Brad Pitt. It gives me something else. So I don't know. That's something Mid Journey 5 still doesn't do. I don't know if they chose to do so because of copyright issues. If you run the same script on Mid Journey 5, you get those kind of images of the Pope with Balenciaga outfit and uh, most of the time they really look uh, like real images. As you know, many AI tools struggle with the human anatomy, particularly with hands. Uh, only with the last update of Mid Journey 5 a couple of weeks ago, most, most of the time you get hands with five fingers and with not uh, strange proportions, but it still has issues. And by fun now, let's try to see if Adobe Firefly can create human hands. And uh, first of all, what I notice is, yeah, they get the number of fingers mostly right. Uh, they don't get the proportions like, like this image quite looks <laughs> uh, odd. And then let's see the next one. Uh, that's actually a bit more okay, but there are some issues on that finger and also this one. Uh, here, it's not so bad at all, even if that uh, another finger is too tall. And uh, let's go to the next one here. You don't, don't see the fifth finger, but it could be that it's hidden behind. But it's okay. Let's run the same prompt with Journey 5. And you can see Mid Journey 5 gets it mostly right. So this was only a quick and dirty intro into Adobe Firefly Beta. I think you should all join it because there will be a couple of new tools coming as you saw at the beginning of this video. And you as a photographer don't want to miss the chance to play around with it because I think maybe in one year from now, most of us will use those kind of AI tools to edit our images. 
Um, as soon as there are more tools available and more options in Adobe Firefly, I will make a new video. So please, again, take a couple of seconds time to subscribe if you haven't done it so far. And uh, stay tuned because soon I will share some more details also about the film styles and other aspects with Midjourney 5 that could be really interesting for you. See you soon.